It's the only sickness you want, the Dixie Network, and I'm Nick Sick. And today I'm going to be starting a new series here on my YouTube channel. So I've done power rankings videos in the past where I've like moved them and I kept points, whatever. And I just never seem to get going with one that I absolutely like. But until today, I'm I'm introducing a new series. It's like top ten point system. So basically, every episode of Raw, SmackDown, or Pay Per View. I'm going to rank the top 10 superstars who did the best on the episode of Raw or SmackDown or whatever. And give them points ranging from 100 to 10. So like first place gets 100, 90, for second place, etc, etc. And every time I do that, I'm going to add it to the, the points totals. And I'll give you the update of like who's the best in WWE right now. So, anything else I got to cover? Oh, tag teams count as like one. Like they count, they count as a combo pack at Taco Bell or whatever. And... Yeah, so I'm going to give you the top 10 superstars from Raw last night. So this is a clean slate. Everyone has zero. So obviously whoever did the best last night on Raw is going to be rocking in the cumulative power rankings. Let's get into it. I'm going to give you an example. Molly, what are you doing? Anyway, so coming in at number 10 is Shinsuke Nakamura. So for example, he's going to get 10 points after last night. I, I, so I'm saying he's the 10th best superstar from Raw last night. <laughs> he's tired of everyone getting in his business. Coming in at number nine is Ricochet. Calling out on the sneeze. <laughs> You're gonna see, I'm keeping it in. <laughs> number nine is Ricochet, the one and only. Calling out Logan Paul, getting the ninth place position. All right, coming in at number eight is Shayna Baszler with a dominating performance in record time over Nikki Cross. Puts her in eighth place. So, to get you up to speed, that means Shayna gets 30 points. In seventh place is the Intercontinental Champion, Gunta. Coming in, I said seventh, right? Seventh place. A dominant win over Matt Riddle. And sorry, my dog's being noisy down there. And calling out Drew McIntyre. Calling a shot. He's the best inter intercontinental champion of all time. Until he fights the honky talk man. Side note before we continue, I'm not sure exactly how if I'm ever gonna get get rid of points. Like maybe after like a certain like time period, like reset everyone zero or whatever. So we're just playing it by ear, but let's move on to number six. Number six is Rhea Bloody Ripley, the women's world champion last night. Sending a statement, taking out Raquel Rodriguez's leg and costing them the championships, like, evidently. Because Raquel was injured, handicapped, basically. And Leah was off by herself, and it didn't work out for them. So, Rhea at number six. But coming at number five is a Judgment Day partner. Finn Balor, and I know I mentioned tag teams are a combo duo, but they're kind of a faction, and all four of them are kind of separated, even though they do tag team matches, you know what I'm saying? They're not, like an instance like that, like, if they're an actual tag team, two guys, then they'll be paired together. Like I said, number five is Finn Balor, basically goaded Seth Rollins into giving him a World Heavyweight Championship match at SummerSlam. I mean, that's, a, that's, that's a big deal. <laughs> Is he going to win? <laughs> Anyways. Number four, I don't know why she gets so much hate, but number four is Ronda Rousey, the baddest woman on the planet, standing up in the rafters, basically taunting Shayna Baszler, pulling her in like she's a like she's a dog with a treat, and basically challenged her to a match at SummerSlam, letting Shayna know that she didn't get into the back door or whatever. She earned her way there, and she's going to take out Ronda Rousey 2.0, which is Shayna Baszler at SummerSlam. Uh, side note, so obviously, I don't know if I mentioned this, but there's a chance I'm not going to be able to give an update after every show. So if I don't, I'll put the points for the show in the community tab if I don't get an update video. Let's go to the final three. Coming at number three are the two that main event at Raw last night. Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn, the Undisputed Tag Team Champions. What are they new title belts? Anyways, um, so they won the main event of Raw that successfully defending their tag team championships in a great match against the Judgment Day. Number two is the Beast, Brock Lesnar. Destroying Cody Rhodes, accepting his challenge for a match at SummerSlam, but basically owning Cody in his own town in front of his mom. Number two, the Beast. And coming at number one has to be Chelsea Green and Sonya Deville winning the Tag Team Championships. Props to Sonya Deville. I think she said she was in WWE for like eight years and finally winning a title. It's, it's great. But like winning a title on Raw, how do you, how do you beat that? So they're number one. So for example, they're going to be getting 100 points. And they're going to be winning the overall points because it's the only points available on the power ranking so far. So there you go. There's the top 10 from Raw. Hope you like this new series. More to come. Until next time, subscribe, share, and smile. <laughs>
Who are my enemies? When they step up, we'll see. This is my evolution. Think of me now, I won't leave you forsaken. See through my eyes and I know you'll awaken. Reclaiming my voice so I won't be mistaken. Enter the walls of your brain like a breaking. But it ain't hate, it's a source of relating.